Christina with INS, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to knit a sweater, specifically the Simone Cardigan by Wear Knitters. If you would like the pattern, I have a link underneath the video, and I also made a photo tutorial on Wear Knitters' Facebook page, and the link is under my video as well if you want to check that out. Let me show you this cardigan. And this is what the back looks like. So that's what you knit first. stitches to make the pretty band in the front. Sew it all together and you are done. I hope you enjoyed making this as much as I did. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Share your projects. Hashtag INS. To use your skein of yarn, instead of using the one on the outside and having it just roll around everywhere, you grab the one from the inside. Sometimes it's hard to find, but sometimes it's easy. And you just pull. To cast on, we need a slip knot. So we're going to leave a few inches. Eight inch tail, slip knot, you twist your yarn, grab the yarn that's underneath and pull. Tighten on your needle. Now, with our working yarn, our tails in the back, we are going to insert our needle from the front to the back. This is called the cable cast on. You bring your yarn over your right needle. And then, you're going to put this stitch back on your left needle, like that. Now, you're gonna go in between both of those stitches like that and then bring your yarn around your needle pull it off and place it back on your left needle and then same thing in between those two stitches and this way our odd rows will be on the right side. Okay, let's learn how to knit and purl. So to knit, your needle goes from the front to the back. And then you grab your yarn, bring it over your right hand needle counterclockwise, and then take it off. Okay, now to purl, our yarn goes in the front. We go from the back to the front, bring our yarn over our right hand needle again, and then pull it off. Let's do a knit. And a purl. You will need to know how to knit two together. So what you do is, your yarn is in the back. Here's our two stitches. We go from our second stitch from the front and also our first stitch. Just kind of put them together as if they were one, front to the back, and then bring your yarn around your right needle. Come up and pull them off. So that's how you knit two together. Okay, so you have your two ends and you are going to try to um, join, put them together. So instead of weaving your ends later with wool, what you can do is, it's called spit splice. So you just kind of separate the ends. And then you get them wet. So you can either get some water on them or you can get your spit on them. Lovely, huh? Okay, put them in your hands and use friction. See? That will not separate. 
To bind off, you need to knit two. So you knit your first two stitches and then you get your first stitch that you knit and you pull it over your second stitch and off your needle. And then you need to knit one so you have two stitches on your right needle again and you pull it off your second stitch and off the needle. And when you only have one stitch left, you are going to pull some of the yarn out and then grab your scissors and cut. There you go. Okay, now to increase, we need to increase between these two stitches. So what we do is we find the bar right here we're going to pick it up from the back to the front and then we knit it. And that's my favorite way to increase. Okay, now we are going to sew the shoulders. So you're going to have a tapestry needle with some yarn and I did it like almost triple the size and let's go through our back piece and then leave some out so that we can weave in our ends now we're going to go through our first bar this V go through the back pull now you're going to find the first V here, which is this one. And then you pull, and this will make an invisible seam. Now our next one is right here. And then our next one is right here. Go through the back. to the end go now to pick up stitches we want this edge to be nice and clean so we want this bar these knits row this stitch right here to be at the very edge so go through here and with your yarn you're gonna leave a tail so that you can weave it in put your loop around And that's your first stitch that you picked up. Now leave the tail and let's do our next one. Two. And if the pattern tells you to like skip a stitch, then you would be skipping this one. And let's go to our next one. Okay. Skip this one, and we're going to go to this one. I 
All right. This is what the back looks like. When you are doing the front, the rest of the front, you end on the wrong side and you're supposed to bind off. If you bind off like knit wise, then you're going to get these bumps on the front side and we want it to look like this to match our sleeves, right? So in order to do that, if you're going to bind off on the wrong side, the best way to do is to, or cast off, however you want to say it, um, pearlize. This is how you bind off pearlize. I mean, it's easy. You pearl two. So you've got two stitches on your needle. And then you are going to grab the first stitch and you pull it off and over the second stitch. Now we purl another one. So we have two stitches on here and we do the same thing. Put it up and over that second stitch and off our needle. This is going to make a smooth edge on the right side. So do you see the bumps on the wrong side? And I'm gonna flip it over. Smooth on the right side. Now that we've done the left side, we're going to do the right side and we start at the neck. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, skip this one, one, two, three, four, and that'll be eight for our neck. Then you keep going around the right side. Okay, to sew the neck part together, we grab our needle and we're gonna go through the other side. Now, do you see our stitches right here? We're gonna try to just go through the edge. Do you see these? So we're gonna go through this, these holes right here. So we just go through one at a time and pull and then we're going to go on the opposite side so you want to keep these stitches don't go through these just go through this is our first one and this bar okay Now we are going to sew the sleeve to the sweater and I cut my yarn three times the length and I have my tapestry needle. As you can see, I just tied a knot of the center. So I counted these and I just put my yarn through both of these so that the center stays with this one. Okay, so I have 14 stitches here and then going on my sweater is actually 17 stitches where these line up so I'm going to be going through each of these 14 and so I'm going to skip three so let's attach our yarn on our sleeve leave a tail okay do you see this bar where you are going to go through it. Then we're gonna go through our first 
vertical stitches. So this is our horizontal bar, and then now we're gonna go through the vertical bar or the V stitches. Okay, now let's look. Let's go through two of them since we have 17 here and only 14 here, right? So that means I only need to go through two of them again, two more times. Okay, now our next vertical bars. And you don't need to pull too tight. So here's our next one. All right. And this is how you sew your shoulder onto your sweater. You can keep going. Okay, now you can tighten it just a little, but if you tighten too much, this yarn will just tear apart. And we don't want that. But look how pretty. And then when you're done, you tie a knot. And then you weave your stitches. And then I just kind of go through back there and then cut. Okay, now you have your needle and thread and you are going to go through the cast on edge. And I have a long tail. And then we're gonna go through this cast on edge, go through those two bars. Do you see these horizontal bars right here? This is your first one. And you're gonna go through it. Now your other side, your first one's right here. Do you see how you're gonna go through each one of these bars? Here's your next one. And then just right here, right next to that V. Here, here, here. So you just keep on going all the way through those lines. I just finished sewing my arm and sweater side together and now I'm just showing you how I end it. Does that look nice? And then, this is what you do for all of your ends. 
you tie a knot and then you go through your stitches in the back, the wrong side. And then you can go back if you want. And then you cut it. There you go. See, you can't even tell.